Welcome everybody, namaste. Glad you are all here, whoever that may be. Um, so I'm excited to start in the eight weeks of healing, right? So some of you guys were on the live stream and some of you are my friends and you know that um, I just started doing this, uh, this little program that I run where we take a journey through the chakra system or the, the energy body, the, um, the subtle body. And we take eight weeks of our lives and each week we focus on one of the seven chakras all the way up and then the eighth week you just combine it all together as one and we, you just do the full cleanse right i mean the whole thing is a full cleanse but spe specifically going into each energy center and cleansing out balancing eating certain foods um, doing certain types of practices and um, and to be able to um, just enrich yourself you know um, these are these teachings um, are very dominant in the east um, they are starting to become uh, more recognized here in the west in America so um, I'm deeply honored to be able to bring some of these practices that I had learned from my teachers here um, I this was very spontaneous too I, I did this you know, through my yoga training um, and my meditation trainings. And then I did it with my students, um, you know, twice, like two years ago or so. And then my dear friend Amber um, was like, hey, I want to do this. Um, and I was like, all right, well, when you're ready, she's like, I'm ready right now. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's take the plunge. So we are, um, this was, that was only like, you know, a few days ago. I was like, all right, We'll start Sunday, you know. Well, actually, she said we're, we're starting Sunday. I'm like, all right, cool. So then I decided to um, bring a bunch of people with me, like you guys, um, my students in, uh, at the studio, and the people at the rehabilitation center. We're all going to be doing it together. So it, what a beautiful way to, uh, you know, we shouldn't do anything alone. We should do things as a group, whether it's through online or through um, in person regardless the more of us that are doing practice together the more energy we um we hold and then if some people are doing it together then they could communicate how they're feeling um they could you know like go shopping together and like get the foods that are good for that that energy center so we are focusing this week on the root chakra um the root chakra is the um is like our animal instinct and the physical body the element earth and grounding okay so now when it comes to that like animal or primal instinct and like it's down here like way down at the at the it's called muladhara which is, means root base in sanskrit so it's root base literally at the base of your spine the pelvic floor like where my ass is touching this uh <laughs> this uh bolster underneath me that's the root chakra, right? So we're focusing all of our energies down, you know? When, um, and, and that connection to earth, um, we, sometimes we forget that, that we are animals on this planet and that we have instincts and we have um, fear um, and that we have, um, and when, the, when, our, when things, the fears mostly come from when something is, seems like it's threatened, right? So. Um, nowadays we get threatened like with finances and relationships and anything that tends tunes into our emotions and things like that but really it's that animal in us that um, causes us to have like overactive fear like like it, it, it's a well it, it just it, it gives us that fight or flight response system and if you're you know a few dollars short in your bank account you don't need to be in fight or flight Right. But that's what happens. So uh, most of the time we are it, getting involved in that fight or flight response system. And it could be very dangerous if we don't know how to process and we don't know how to cleanse and meditate and just like flush it out. Let it go. Let it go. And just be able to um, have a deeper um, sense of like faith and acceptance. So um, 
you notice I had the color red with the red light. Um, it's associated with the color red as well. Um, red is a low vibrational color, um, the lowest on the spectrum of our sight, and it's just very grounding, right? So along with not only the meditation that I'm about to do with you guys, which I don't really know how that's going to go yet, but I have an idea. Um, but at, you know, after that, throughout the week, it's, a, it's good to identify your main internal fears, right? So just taking a list and just writing them out and, you know, whether it's like fear of being alone, fear of rejection, fear of um, abandonment, whatever. Um, writing those fears out, just being able to look at them on a piece of paper in front of you, um, maybe you can see like, okay, well, are they really like that important that I'm that they're going to control my life or like control the narrative of my life life um like am I going to write my whole life script based off of fear I mean I don't want to do that this is these are the things that were presented to me in not only a 12 step program but also in um in yoga training that helped me release myself from fear and into faith contentment serenity and peace so get yourself comfortably seated. Seated Lotus is also like the, the best pose um, for the grounding and you wanna straighten the spine so all the energy can just kind of like drop down right to that root base, right? And there's, um, there's I, I, I did this in my um, online thing too. So it, uh, Apana Mudra is like, if you take your index finger and your pinky fingers and you point them downward um, and then touch them down onto the ground, All right? So upon a mudra, mudra just means like hand gesture and doing that. And I like to image that as like being magnets, just really holding me down onto the earth and connecting me. So we come to seated meditation. We could close our eyes. The fingertips pointed down onto the ground. Just notice how that feels. And then just start to notice your breath. And then notice if there is any fear that could be controlling your life. Just an awareness, not, not with attachment, just identification. So with a little bit of compassion and self-understanding or self-awareness, be able to identify those fears, but also give yourself permission to cleanse and release and let go. You could do this with some type of affirmation like I am allowing myself to release these fears, the fear of whatever. And we'll come to a nice, slow, deep breath in. And as you exhale, relaxing the shoulders, getting heavy in your seat and just grounding down as deep as you can. Nice deep, deep breath in. Exhale, grounding down. Breath in. Releasing the fear out. All the way out and down. Now I'm going to also use some vibration with the singing bowls. And allow yourself to just relax fully. So don't even worry about the mudras anymore. And just let your whole body get heavy. And then at this point, 
if you'd like to envision roots growing down from the base of the spine. All the way down deep, deep, deep into earth. Allow them to grow down and kind of branch out beneath you. Listen into the deep vibration and allow that deep vibration to grow these roots down very, very deeply into the earth. And then those roots that are on the left side of the body branching out from the left side I want those to be the nurturing roots so when we're on the inhale it's pulling nutrients in from the earth and circulating in the root chakra area and then the release of any internal fears down the right side and down to earth. So we breathe in through the left side of the body. Let Mother Earth give you peace, calmness, healing energy circulating around. If you want to image a red swirling ball of energy at the base of the spine and the lowest part of your belly all the way deep deep down and then when we exhale out with the fears any anxiety anything like in, healing energy into the root, exhale releasing out down the other roots. Slow breath in again. Circulating and then down and out. Again, breathing in. Notice the sensation of the breath. Notice the sensation of the exhale. Just come back to a natural rhythm. Notice the weight of your body. Listen deeply to the sound.
sound also just flush out any anxiety or fear. feels to just be still taking a nice slow slow breath in and flushing out and down In, flushing out and down. Breathing in and placing your hands up to your heart. Self-love and compassion. And then down into the root. All the way down, sending your love from your heart down into the root. Maybe place the right hand on the heart and the left hand way down deep in the belly. So we'll take one deep breath, love and acceptance. Hold. And then send it down, replacing any of those fears with that love and acceptance. Placing both the hands on the heart. Thank yourself. Honor yourself for meditating today. Be kind to one another, be, and most importantly, be kind to yourself. Palms together. Be well, everyone. Namaste.